Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to make chicken penne with olives and artichokes. It's really delicious and it's also fast and easy to make. Our star ingredient today is Chardonnay. Good for drinking, good for cooking. I would like to send a special shout out to Jeff from Lake Anna Winery for being gracious enough to send me some of their stellar wines. I've tried the Chardonnay so far. I absolutely love it. It's fruity, it's buttery, it's smooth, it's fantastic. I'm super excited to try the reds, but I do want to feature them in some videos. So we're gonna start with the Chardonnay and it is definitely gonna add some extra flavor to this really amazing recipe. So go ahead and, oh, wait, wait, wait. Little day drinking never hurt anybody, right? Cheers. Oh, yum. Wine, a gift from heaven. Okay, um, get yourself a nice big pan, a deep skillet or an electric frying pan. Okay, so my pan is really good and hot. I'm gonna put a tablespoon of olive oil and I have cubed up four chicken breasts. My pan got a little too hot. Okay, and we're just gonna season it up with some salt and pepper. About a quarter teaspoon of pepper. And about a half a teaspoon of salt. All right, um, so we're gonna cook the chicken breast for you know, three to four minutes. Doesn't have to be completely cooked through because it's gonna get poured back into the nice hot liquid broth sauce that we are gonna be making. All right, I cooked it for about four minutes or so and it's golden. There is a little bit of pink in the center, but that is gonna keep it nice and moist rather than chewy and overdone. So just transfer your chicken to another dish or plate and go ahead and add another tablespoon of olive oil and then I have half of a large onion that I've diced okay get that coated with the oil another sip of wine Nothing like a little day drinking, right? Like you get this nice glow, you just feel really so relaxed. I'll make this, eat it for lunch, and then take a nap. I'm off work today, so that's like the ideal day. You know, cook, take a nap, spend some time with the kiddos. All right, we're gonna crush in three cloves of garlic. I'm gonna put a little more oil. Okay, mix. So the onion's getting soft. So first order of business is we're gonna add half a cup of this delicious Chardonnay. Next ingredient is one and a half cups of chicken broth. You can go ahead and get your heat up because we are gonna bring all of this to a boil. Okay, next is one can of tomato sauce. Next is some tomato paste, one, two tablespoons. Adds a nice little richness. Okay, so we want all this liquid to come to a boil, which it's already starting to happen. And as that does happen, we can add our spices. I'm gonna put a teaspoon of dried parsley. I am going to put a 
half a teaspoon of dried basil, a half a teaspoon of dry oregano. We'll just shake that in. A little more black pepper. Why not? Salt. Gonna go two teaspoons of salt. Don't forget that this is covering the pasta, so you want it to have a lot of good salty flavor. All right, it's starting to bubble, so I'm just gonna get everything mixed well. Make sure that tomato paste gets dissolved. And once it does, and everything is bubbling, we can add the olives and the artichokes. Mm. Yum. It's so great to find good tasting recipes that don't break the bank and that your family loves. So, I mean, these are tried and true. I kid you not. Okay, this is bubbling up a storm. I'm gonna add uh, quartered artichoke hearts that I cut in half. It's one can. Yum. And then I'm gonna add a cup of sliced Kalamata olives. Those are the good Greek style olives that have a really wonderful flavor. So the sauce looks just so rich and delicious. Yummy. All right, I'm gonna let all those flavors seep together for a minute. Okay, and now we add the chicken back and it's gonna soak in all of these delicious juices going here. Smells amazing. Nice and rich. You gotta love pasta meals. They feed a lot of people. They're filling. So you're gonna let the chicken cook in the juices for a minute or two, and then we're gonna top it off with, of course, some delicious fresh herbs. I've got some fresh basil, one of my very favorites. Okay, and we'll just mix that around and then we are gonna pour this over the pasta. All right, I'm gonna turn this heat off and get ready to present this. Okay, so I put the penne into a nice big baking dish and then we can just go ahead and pour over our yummy chicken olive artichoke topping. Scrape that pan. Okay, and then get everything mixed in. Get that pasta coated. I mean, how good does this look for real? And you know, my recipes, like for the most part, are like, uh, you know, between 15 and 30 minutes max, which is fantastic. Right? I mean, the smell is just, ugh, awesome. Awesome, this looks delicious. So I hope you guys are gonna make it and optional but of course i do love me some fresh parmesan so you can top it off with some fresh parm a light coating over the top or individual bowls and there you have it chicken penne with olives and artichokes holy moly wow i encourage you guys to go out and make it and share your results and share my video with your friends and your family. Thank you for watching. And again, thank you, Jeff from Lake Anna Winery for the delicious Chardonnay. I'm gonna put a link to the website in case you guys wanna go order some of that wine. All right, take care, be blessed.